Hi, today we are going to learn about frequency tables. And at the end of this lesson, you should be able to present and interpret data in what is known as a frequency table. But first, let's understand the meaning of the word frequency. Now, you may have heard a person say, Oh, that thing happens so frequently or it happens less frequently. Frequency is the number of times something occurs. Something can occur many times or it can occur a few number of times. Now, when we count the number of times that thing occurs or different things occur, we may present the information in a table. When we do that, that table is known as a frequency table. So, a frequency table is a table showing a list of values and the number of times each value occurs. Let us look at an example. If we have 15 children in a grade 7 class, where each is asked about how many pairs of shoes they have at home, and now suppose we get the following results. One of them says, well, I have one pair of shoe. Another says, uh, I have two pairs. Another says, I have three pairs. Another one says, I have five pairs. Another one again says, I have three pairs of shoes. Another one again says, I have two pairs of shoes. Another says, I only have one. Then another one says, I have four. And here we have one who said, I have only one pair. Another one says, I have three. Another one says, I have two pairs. Another one says, I have three pairs. Now, here is a simple question. How many pupils have three pairs of shoes? Well, you can simply count. One, two, three, four. We can see that four pupils have said they have three pairs of shoes. Now, instead of just counting these numbers, we can present them in what is known as a frequency table. And this is how a frequency table looks like. The first column has number of pairs of shoes. So, this data uh, was has to be produced by asking these different pupils how many have one pair of shoes. Now, when we ask that, uh, we need to be entering some information here. Let me just show you how. Let's see how many said they have one pair. So, one, two, okay, so one, two, three. So those who say they have one pair of shoes, it's one, two, three. So I'll put tally marks here. Those who said they have one pair of shoes are three. So I'll indicate three in frequency. So what you have here in the first column, you have number of pairs of shoes. And then after counting, We'll write uh, the, the tally marks here and then frequency. Frequency means the number of times it occurs. We put the number here, three. So how many said they have two pairs of shoes? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. So we'll write the tally marks here. Four said they have two pairs of shoe. Yeah, so we'll write the number four here. And how many said they have uh, three pairs of shoes? We'll count the number of times three occurs. One, two, three. Four, five, six. 
So now, watch how I would draw the tally marks here. When drawing the tally marks, you need to know that you draw them in groups of fives. So the threes, we have counted how many threes? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to draw the tally marks like this. One, two, three, four. When it is the fifth one, you draw it across this. So this is a group of five and one, meaning six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we write the number six here. How many said they have four? Let's check. Okay, there is nothing in the first column, nothing here, nothing. There it is. Oh, okay, so only one said they have four pairs. So we write one there and then we write one here also. How many said they have five pairs of shoes? Okay, only one. There's only one five. So I'll write one tally stick and I'll write the number one here. Okay, now the next thing is we need to count the total of these different frequencies. So three plus four is seven, seven plus six is thirteen, plus one, fourteen, plus one, fifteen. So the total is fifteen. So the total you get here gives you the total of all the children we asked. Okay, and that is how you uh, produce a frequency table. Now, um, Remember we had asked earlier uh, how many children said they have three pairs of shoes. So you can see here that it is six children. So after producing the, the frequency table, all the information has been summarized. If you want to know how many said they have one pair of shoes, the answer is three of them. You want to know how many said they have two pairs of shoes, the answer is four of them. How many said they have three pairs of shoes, the answer is six of them. Okay, it is as simple as that. Uh, do you think you've understood this? Okay, so let's see if you have understood. I'm going to give you a question. Let's look at what this question is. So this is an exercise. And the exercise says, girls in grade seven at Mapalo Primary School obtained the following marks in a mathematics test. So all these are the different marks that these pupils got. Someone got 20, another one got 26, another one got 27, on and on up to uh, this last figure here. Now the first question is, from the data given above, make a frequency table. So I'll give you a little guide. Uh, you draw a table, start from uh, the lowest mark, which one is the lowest mark here, which one is the lowest mark, okay, from what I am seeing, the lowest number among all these numbers is 20, and which one is the highest, the highest, let's check here, the highest here is 26, 26, oh, there's 27 here, so 27, okay, the highest is 27, so try to draw a table and uh, list a number of marks from 20 to 27, all right? And then count how many got the score 20, how many got 21 marks, how many got 22 marks, okay? And produce the tallies and write the values, the, 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 uh, the, uh, uh, the frequencies in, the, in a column that you should label frequency. Okay, and after you have done that, I want you to answer uh, question B. How many girls wrote the test? I want you to find out what is the total number of uh, girls who sat for this test. Okay, and I don't want you to just count these numbers here. I want you uh, to count the frequencies, okay, total it up. And 
what number will it give you? Then C, which mark did most girls get? So, what was the most common mark which a lot of pupils scored? Now, when you find the answer, uh, write it on a clean, nice paper and post it in the WhatsApp group, okay, when it is time uh, to post. So, um, after everyone has posted, then results will be given to you.